croquet, a quintessential English pastime. At Calverley Grounds, the Royal Tunbridge Wells Croquet Club are hosting an open day. If, like me, you're not familiar with the rules of the game, here's club chairman John Diamond to explain. Although you, you have to hit your opponent away from time to time, the objective is essentially just to get your ball through a hoop and then you have to get them through in the same sequence of balls, but you just hit one ball at a time and you play uh, in a strict rotation in colours. So it's really quite an easy game to, to get to grips with. The sport's simplicity has helped draw record membership levels to the club. It's a trend being echoed across the country. The Croquet associations say the number of clubs in the UK has increased by 70 in the last decade, almost a 50% rise. 7,000 players have picked up a mallet regularly up from 4,500 in 2006. And over the same period, nearly £200,000 of funding has helped lift the game's standing. But despite a strong showing here in Tunbridge Wells and across Kent, there are concerns for the future of the sport. A recent survey found the average player is aged 68. And that means the sport could die out in the next two decades. Another poll found that respondents were 16 times more likely to understand the rules of Quidditch. Word of mouth and open sessions like today are crucial in boosting youth numbers. Adam and Christina are battling it out for sibling bragging rights. They have a few ideas about how to raise Croquet's profile. What would you do to, to change Croquet? Um, there'll be hills to go up. So if like Croquet became, it is competitive, but if it was shown as more competitive, I think more people would play it. These additions could breathe a new lease of life into the game, but for now, the sport in Tunbridge Wells is still a big hit. Cameron Tucker, Tunbridge Wells, KMTV.